Richard Slamet and navigator Vitz Kutsir were declared are the winners of the total Tara rally late on Saturday night. In an incredibly close finish, Slamet riding a Toyota Run XS 2000 finished eight seconds ahead of Velo Dipenar and Rian van der Westhuizen in a Ford Fiesta. Dipenar withdrew after protesting one of the Slamet racing times. To win a Total Tara is a surreal feeling. It's a, it's a dream come true. It was a very, very tough rally um, with all different types of stages. We had fast stages, slow stages, um, smooth stages, rough stages. So it was a bit of everything. It, um, I think the rally suited our car very well. We started off on Thursday. Myself and Navigator Vizcuzia, we made the decision to, to take it easy in the beginning and try and build momentum. Um, and we did exactly that. On Thursday, we took it quite easy. And when we, by the end of Thursday evening, we realized that we didn't fall behind too far on the leaders. So we made the decision to pick up the pace a bit on Friday. On Friday, we did. Unfortunately, on Friday evening, we had a breakdown and we suffered with a broken second gear in our car. So we were forced to, on Saturday morning, try and nurse the car and, and take it easy. The rally was tough. There's no doubt about it. This is the, this, it's probably still Africa's toughest rally. Um, but like Richard said, we had a game plan. We set ourselves goals, uh, which I think we exceeded our goals. Um, especially on Saturday, the last three stages, we really opened up. Triple cautions were just flat out. We, uh, Richard just stepped on it and, and the pace went up tremendously. So, and I think that brought us back into the game and that secured us the win at the end of the day. So for a navigator, it was, it was a great rally. It was difficult, but it was great. We, we didn't have the newest, best car um, in the rally, but um, I must commend our technical team. Um, that's actually led by my dad. He did an awesome job preparing the car and then maintaining it. We, we rode it pretty hard, and every time we got into the service park, my dad had like a magic hand on it. He would touch it and things would be fixed, they would fix all of the small issues. So yeah, if it wasn't for our technical team to keep us on the road, we would probably have also fall out like some of the other teams had to.